Hello and welcome back to the Pleistocene channel. My name's Daniel and this is the Pleistocene solo survival series. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get in today. Uh, so we've got our little mining platform out there. We found some uranium, got it uh, processing in the refinery. Um, got our turrets up. We got a little bit of uh, power generation coming from these solar panels. Uh, which seem to be doing an okay job, uh, even though they're not going to be able to track the sun across the sky. Um, it will be okay. Uh, I think it'll generate enough power to keep us going. So, uh, what are we going to do today? So, in today's episode, I'm hoping to uh, actually start building a mining ship. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this, but uh, I do want to create something very streamlined. So... Uh, I, I might create some kind of big drilling rig in the future, but uh, for now I want to create something uh, small, uh, something fairly compact, and just enough to get our uh, mining efficiency up to uh, you know a level that um, it exceeds what we've got right now. Uh, but for the first for the first thing I want to do, I want to get these tools, uh, some better tools made. Um, so what do I need to do to build? A better tool okay so this uh, okay so this one requires silicon and cobalt this one requires silver um, I wonder if I can get some silver do we have anything that actually has silver in it uh, I don't know let's see what components we have all right, so detector components have nickel, gravity components, we don't have any of those, explosives, displays, displays have silicon, um, so silicon we're okay on, uh, so silver, silver, okay, metal grids have cobalt, so I can actually disassemble a couple of metal grids, get some cobalt, um, looks like we'll have enough to make the tools. All right, so continuing our search for silver, we've got no, no, no. Looks like the only thing that actually has silver in it is the reactor components, which is not gonna be ideal for us. Um, let's go see. I don't wanna. I don't wanna spend too much time on this. So if we can't find silver just with our our hand drill, then we'll wait on the tools until I have built a small mining ship, because that'll have a an ore detector on it that we can take and fly around. Um, so uh, for now, though, I'm going to make sure that my hydrogen uh, canisters are filled. And then we'll just go take a scout around the lake, see if we can uh, find anything just by means of the hand drill. I'm going to put everything up so I can bring back a good amount of silver if I find it. Uh, let's put all these back in. Oh, not the hydrogen tanks. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, fly around. We know that one's got uranium and uh, gold and iron. So I think it was one of the other ones. Let's go over here and see if there's silver. I think one of these other ones had silver, although I, I think I only scouted two of them when we very first landed. So uh, we'll see what we see. Okay, so uh, what we do have enough for, though, now is the... Uh, second tier of the grinder and the welder so I'm gonna produce those and then at least the welding and grinding will go slightly faster uh, even if it doesn't go too much faster so let's go ahead and put I'm gonna go ahead and put my welder oh I have an extra one of each of those uh, the welder and grinder in here for now um, got that one what else am I missing here oh silicon okay so I, I do need to deconstruct some computers it looks like uh, let's uh, deconstruct uh, do I want to do computers or displays let's do one display that'll give us enough and then we can produce the welder and then we'll get started on uh, constructing a ship. Now, um, some people like uh, videos where uh, they show the entire design process of a ship, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you don't, if you don't particularly like watching the entire design process, then uh, you know you're you're welcome to skip through it. But uh, if you do like it, then um, then great. Then you'll have a, a design here. Um, 
so I'm I'm thinking that I'm gonna need a place to uh, to design it. I don't know if I don't know if I have a uh, I need a platform or something. So let's go ahead and build a platform here. I'm gonna get some steel plates and build a platform out out the back here. It'll be a good place to to design a small ship. Um, it doesn't need to be too big, but it needs to be big enough so that I can function. So let's do it. Uh, I want it so I can just like walk out of it. Um, I think the I think the uh, refinery is right inside here. So I don't want to do that, but gotta put my new tools on my bar. All right, second level welder, second level grinder, excellent. Um, okay, so let's look at this. Yeah, so the uh, the refinery, it looks like it takes up this entire space. So um, why don't we uh, build it off to the side over here, and then we can have something from the first level that comes off right right by the um, uh, right by the storage container that we'll be using to. Whoops. That is not what I wanted. All right, uh, right by the storage container that we're going to be using to uh, get all of our, of our components out of. If I can think of the words to say today, I'm having trouble uh, coming up with my sentences. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and build this pad. It's just gonna be a big uh, uh, rectangle, so I'm not gonna make you watch this. So I'll fast forward through all of this. You know, a landing and construction platform is only one of the things that I want to add to this base. Um, as we move along, I'll want to increase our ore refining potential. I want to put a few more, uh, well, for I want to put a couple more refineries, but I also want to add some arc reactors so that uh, we can process iron and nickel and cobalt a little more efficiently. Uh, and um, I want to put some more assemblers on because uh, having one is fine for now uh, but as we start ramping up our production as we start building bigger and bigger ships we're going to need to be producing a lot more components at once so uh, assemblers refineries I want to add all of those to this base and um, really I want to make sure that uh, we have enough space to move around too because um, while I ground uh, since I took a lot of the components off that we weren't using like the vents and the um, and the oxygen tank and all the thrusters. Well, I feel like we have a little bit more space, but um, as I start expanding the base even more, uh, I want to keep that feeling. So um, I want to have plenty of places to access cargo. Uh, so we'll, we'll be adding quite a few more things to this base. The landing pad slash uh, construction pad is only the first step. Um, and I wanted to have it big enough so that I could build, uh, you know, s several sizes of ships. So um, I, I am going to build a fairly small ship to start with, so um, this small landing pads uh, fairly f uh, is kind of okay, but uh, I do want to add um, probably even more space so we can build bigger ships without having to worry about them being on the ground and being attacked by cyberhounds. Um, now, as I mentioned later in this video, uh, I did realize that building this landing pad, I did kind of cover up the access for the turrets to hit uh, cyber hounds that might run under the pad so hopefully uh, if the cyber hounds come from you know really far away the turrets will get them before they get under the pad but if they get under this landing pad then uh, they might be able to do some damage to some of the supports I also uh, like the look um, of having uh, the supports touching the ground so like here I'm adding supports going to the ground they don't really do anything uh, I mean the the base will stand up just fine without them but they do give a more complete and finished look to the base uh, that is uh, not the case with uh, with just having a, a base and a landing pad just kind of floating in the air uh, anyway so I, I just like kind of like the look of it and I decided to paint it um, just you know uh, give it its own look because the the blue of the lander is fine um, and I'll eventually paint the entire base uh, so that it's you know a little more unique then I realized I pressed uh, shift uh, as I was going down there so it ended up repainting some of that okay we've got a good little platform here um, 
I did realize that um, I kind of blocked if a Cyberhound runs under this platform, uh, it's, it'll be kind of protected by the platform uh, from these turrets up here. So I may end up actually having to put a turret uh, here under the platform. But I'll worry about that if it comes to it because um, with the way that the Cyberhound's path, it may not be a problem at all. All right, so now I have a little platform. Uh, it's going to be right here next to the refinery, so I'll be able to land um, land a drilling ship and be able to transfer the ore. I might put a connector on here too so that we don't have to actually transfer manually between the ship and the refinery. But uh, for now, I'm just going to worry about building the ship, and then we'll um, worry about uh, making things easier later. Uh, so I'm going to start a, well, I'm going to need some construction components, but I'm going to start a small ship. And once again, I'm going for a very streamlined design. I'm not going for something super complex. Um, probably only going to do three drills to start, uh, even beyond, um, uh, even though it's not going to be super efficient, it will be uh, efficient enough for my purposes. Because all I'm doing right now is trying to make it more efficient than my hand drill. So uh, to get that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually build the, um, the landing gear up uh, simply because I've had some problems in the past where unfinished landing gear don't actually stick like they're supposed to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this landing gear out just in case. Probably fears that aren't completely necessary. Um, as, as you saw in the uh, fast forwarded Part, I did finish this platform and I didn't make it black and red just because um, I seem to have like this black and red motif going on for the uh, for the plat uh, for the the base itself I kind of went black and red up there so we're, we may keep that motif for the base I'm gonna go for different colors for the ships though so uh, we'll see what we got here all right let's uh, build ourselves a little bit of a starting point here all right so uh, the main thing here is going to be the drills um, I'm going to come off of it with three drills and I want the rest of the ship to be able to follow directly in that path uh, the you know the drills can be a little tricky um, if I'm you know if I'm using the secondary mode on the drills then I can go probably about one block on either side maybe two uh, without actually worrying about um, destroying something. Oh, my turrets are taking out some cyber hounds. Let's see if they got anything good. Oh, power cells, not something I really need right now. All right. Uh, anyway, so uh, going out one or two blocks, um, I might I might be able to to handle, but I don't want to go out any more than that because then you know you you run into problem of thrusters potentially. Uh, coming off the ship. All right, so let's put these these uh, um, conveyor blocks are going to be very important because um, if I don't have conveyor blocks, everything's going to get stuck in the drills, and then I'll have to go from there. If I can, if I'm able to convey it all the all the way down, whoops. If I'm able to convey it all the way down, then uh, I won't have to worry quite as much about. Um, about getting everything in the drills themselves so uh, plus I mean just having everything uh, connected together is just a really good design um, process so let's get our drill out I think we're gonna have we're gonna start with the drills and then we'll build from there um, okay we're just gonna put three in a line like this Um, okay, so this is going to seem like a fairly basic design, but it's it's important once again just to to keep it fairly streamlined. Um, I don't want to run the risk of going into a big uh, drilling into some big uh, mine and then you know busting all of my thrusters off and then going plummeting uh, into the earth or not the earth the earth-like planet. Okay, so I'll do most of the welding off camera. Just wanted to get a, f a few of these started. All right. 
so what do we need next okay uh so let's go ahead and put our cockpit on um it's gonna be right here at the front so i want it to be right in line with that though how can i do that without screwing it up okay uh first of all let's go get some energy i think the the flight seat actually fills up the energy faster than the health than the medical bay so uh, maybe not maybe it's about the same all right anyway um since we're here though it looks like our solar panels are not actually getting as much power as they could once again it's because the sun is way up in the sky luckily it's to the south just a little bit well what i'm calling the south so might be able to get a little more power pointing it that way no, I'm not getting much. So yeah, I'm I'm going to eventually prob oh well at least we got three bars. All right, um, I'm I'm eventually gonna have to probably connect another rotor to it to be able to face the solar panels where they need to actually face. But for now, it'll it'll probably be enough. So not gonna worry about it. Okay, so in order to keep this thing upright while I grind these couple of pieces off, I'm going to connect uh. A little block down there so you need to go away okay then we need a cockpit uh, we're gonna do the construction cockpit the very basic one and it's going to be connected right here and so uh, since it has a little um, can't I place that there I think I need another block um, since it actually has a uh, conveyor part right on the front if I connect it here then all of the why can't I connect to that oh okay I was one block forward okay so we're good um, so it can actually like all the ore can actually go through the cockpit into the uh, things um, behind it so the ore can actually travel through the small conveyors uh, which is good for us and then I'm gonna put an air vent on the front there um, since it is an Earth-like planet, I want to be able to uh, fill the cockpit with air just from the surroundings. Because I don't want—I don't want to have to worry about putting a um, an oxygen generator on this ship. That doesn't make any sense. It's an atmospheric ship. Uh, it'll be just fine with um, it'll be just fine with the uh, surrounding air. So we're gonna go with that. All right. So next, uh, I want to make sure we've got a couple of good solid con cargo containers. Um, first though, should I go with, um, okay. So the cargo containers are, um, if I go with a medium, like I could go with a large, but it won't fit as well in line. Let me show you the difference. So the large one is actually this big. And so if I start going down a mine shaft, um, the drills may not be able to handle making an opening that big so let's go with the medium containers uh, they still can um, handle a pretty good amount and I really want it to be in line this way actually no that it'll work Let, let's let's put it in line this way um, and we'll go with two cargo containers whoops two medium cargo containers won't be able to carry too much ore back but it'll be able to carry enough uh, and then the final thing I need to put on here is a, ref uh, an, uh, a reactor. Do I want a reactor? Do I want a battery? I think I want a reactor. Okay. So we're going to go with a large reactor. Um, so we don't have to worry about generating enough power for the thrusters. So large reactor. I feel like I already put that. Nope. Okay. Um, and so all of this can connect together. Uh, by means of conveyors so that's good and then I want to uh, actually have a um, connector that deals specifically with stone um, stone can be very problematic and so I what the way that I'm gonna do this and the way that I've done it in the past is the connectors themselves actually have um, these small conveyors you can see on the side of it and so if I connect the conveyor up like this, then uh, then the small one can go out there. 
Um, and then what I'd, I'll do is I'll put a conveyor sorter. Uh, one of the large conveyor sorters. Like this. With another connector below it. And so if you can see what I'm doing here now, uh, what I'm doing is all the ore that's going to come through, uh, the stone is going to be pulled out of it by this conveyor sorter and is going to be dropped out the bottom. And then the top connector can still be used to connect up to this base if we build a, a connector onto there. So that's going to be perfect. Okay, so we've got our power generation. We've got our uh, cargo containers. We've got our conveyor system set up. Um, should be enough to... Uh, to actually um, get a good mining ship going. Uh, the, the thing we need to uh, still need are thrusters, and we're going to put the thrusters on later uh, simply because I want to weld all this up. I don't want to block myself from getting all this welded up uh, by putting a uh, these big thrusters on the side. I did leave some open space here. What I'm going to do here um, is I do need, because uh, on the back, uh, obviously you can't see it right now, but on the back, the the conveyor ports for the cockpit are actually one out. Oh, I know I ran out of hydrogen. I didn't even notice that. Um, but uh, that'll allow me to connect up those. And then these uh, open spots, I'm actually going to put the gyros um, as well as the antenna. So let's go ahead and put the gyros on there. Let's do... One there, one there, and I do need some hydrogen because I am going to need to fly just a little bit. So let's go and refill my hydrogen tanks. Can't believe I ran out. That's not very good. At least I was over something that didn't kill me when I fell. Okay, um, so that's two gyros. On a ship that's going to get fairly heavy, I'm going to go ahead and put on four gyros. And I'm wondering... You know... Um, okay, so I need to get both an ore detector and an antenna on here. Um, and the antenna can actually be a beacon it doesn't actually need to be an antenna I just want I just don't want to lose the ship somewhere and then uh, um, it go missing so I'm wondering if I I know I already built all this up but I think I'm gonna go back and give myself two spots uh, there instead of just one so yeah let me let me go ahead and take these back off it's not too much to replace so um, what I mean by two spots there is I'm going to bring this back one more. And so I can actually put an antenna, um, which I have right here. And the ore detector, they're bo they both take up two blocks. So if I, if I do that, I can uh, put this here, um, which actually needs a construction component to do. And then the antenna can go right here, which needs a small steel tube. Okay. So construction component and a small steel tube. Okay, so we'll put the antenna on top, the ore detector on bottom, and then I am starting to realize that I'm kind of covering up my stuff. So I'm going to have to actually go back and weld lease this one up before I place the other things. So I need four, wait, what was it? Four construction components. Yeah, four construction components, one motor. Um, just so I don't block myself in uh, with the rest of the stuff that I got to uh, weld. So let's do four of these, one of these. And we can at least finish that particular conveyor. Okay, now I can put everything else back on. So we'll get back to where we left off. Um, I'm going to do that, and then we need the cargo containers. You know what? Maybe it's safer if I put... You know what? I'm going to put the reactor, actually, in the middle here. 
Um, and that will be a little bit safer for purposes of um, like grinding around in like layers of rock. So uh, this I can put, you know, a little bit of uh, I can put some uh, protection around. I can put some armor blocks around uh, and it won't be quite as exposed on the back there. I think that's probably a good plan. Okay, let's put our two cargo containers. Or, actually, to make it a little more compact, these cargo containers, I can actually put two on the sides here. That's interesting. This is my, my usual design process. I, I go through different iterations. I have to reduce a couple things. Okay, so that will actually work. And I can put the thrusters on the side here. I can still do my um, connectors like this. Uh, the conveyor sorter and the other connector all right so that'll actually give us one more cargo container um, I still have I can put uh, down facing thrusters there and there I can put forward thrusters and uh, reverse thrusters uh, actually I can put the forward thrusters here put the reverse thrusters uh, maybe up here and then down thrusters. I might be able to get two large ones in there or Actually, I want to spread those out. All right, so It may, it may be hard to visualize right now, but it, it'll uh, work out. So I think I'm about I'm gonna call this video here So we've done some good design today Um I think I'm going to connect the cargo containers here so that I can spread out the down thrusters. We've got to, I, I want to have four down thrusters because I don't want to be worrying about, um, you know, this ship falling out of the sky. Um, and then I can put two reverse or uh, forward thrusters here um, and they won't get in the way of each other. So, yeah, I think that's actually a really good design. Uh, so, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and weld all this up. Um, I'm going to fast forward through this uh, so you don't have to watch it. Um, and then I'll end the video there. So I realized as I redesigned that part of the ship, um, I put those cargo containers, those medium cargo containers that are on the sides, uh, I actually connected them to that large reactor in a place that doesn't have conveyor ports. So um, what I'm either going to have to do is I'm going to have to move the, cargo lar uh, the medium cargo containers back to where they were, uh, touching that center cargo container, or I'm going to have to add a few conveyors um, on the sides. Uh, but even that, like I'm going to have to uh, turn those medium cargo containers anyway um, so that I'll be able to access the medium ports without coming all the way out. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that in the next episode, but um, I will have to be making those modifications next time. Um, so be, beyond the thrusters, um, I, I've decided not to put landing gears on this. Um, I'm, I am going to connect a... Uh, or sorry put a connector um, on the base like uh, you know reaching out and down so I can connect that top connector on the ship to the base uh, to transfer ore in um, and I, I'm gonna keep the landing gear off of it because if I put a landing gear on the bottom there's a high potential that is gonna get knocked off anyway um, I know a lot of people like to have landing gear just to um, be able to set the ship down if they need to set it down but um, I think we'll be okay without doing that. Um, I'll just leave this ship pretty much docked to the station uh, the whole time unless we're um, actually using it out uh, out on, you know, out in the world. Um, so if th that'll basically just be where it stays, is connected to the station for the most part. That'll be where it's stored. Um, so after, after this, I do uh, mention how I need reactor components for uh, finishing off the, the large reactor on the ship. And um, I had the option of putting a battery on the ship, um, but I just don't re really have a good place for it. So I think I am gonna just go with uh, the large reactor. I'll just have to go get silver to make reactor components. And my, you know, the, the search for silver earlier in this video did not go very well, but um, 
but I did go after this video. Uh, I went out and searched a little more for some silver and did find some. So uh, we've got some silver now processing in the refinery and uh, hopefully we'll have enough to uh, not only upgrade our tools um, to the third tier this time, uh, but also we should have enough to uh, make some reactor components. I think we need 95 reactor components to be able to make a large reactor for a small ship. Um, so I think it'll make 95 uh, reactor components. If it doesn't, then I can always go back and uh, and get a little more silver um, when when we need it. So uh, yeah, so um, that should finish this off. I I didn't want to put a battery on just because there's not really a good place to add it into the the frame of the ship. So we're gonna rely on that large reactor. But to be able to get the uranium in there, we're gonna have to put a small reactor on just to power it enough. Um, to be able to get some uranium into that large reactor. All right, well, we have the first, uh, first little vested, um, well, first little pieces of a drilling ship together. Um, I think it's going to work out really well. Uh, once we get the thrusters on and we can get, uh, and we can get, um, some, you know, uranium and, Unfortunately, I realized while we were building this that I don't have a way to build this reactor. Uh, I need silver to make the reactor components, and since I didn't find silver earlier, I'm probably going to have to go scout some more. So I'm probably going to do that off camera, but I will find some silver. Uh, we will get this thing going, so um, that's something to look forward to next time. Uh, next time I should have some silver. I should be able to finish off that reactor, and I'll put on all the thrusters, and we'll get this ship moving. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you uh, would like future updates, please hit the subscribe button. And uh, I, look forward to, uh, I look forward to working on this next time. Thanks, thanks again for watching.